Hey guys, uh, this is going to be a quick safety and emergency ground ingress video for the Rifle Air Show's RV-8 that you see behind me. So let's take a look around, we'll show you where the fuel is and where all the emergency cutoffs and seat belts and how to get me out if we need to. Here we go. Uh, all the fuel in the RV-8 is in the front edge of the wings here. So here's the uh, left fuel tank is this front section of the wing. And during the air show there's only going to be about 10 gallons of fuel in this wing and maybe three in the other wing. So that's all the hazmat that you might have to worry about. Here's the other fuel tank. Like I said, about three to five gallons there during the show. And now let's take a quick look around. Uh, in general, uh, what I would say is, first of all, thank you to all our first responders and uh, um, crash fire rescue guys. We appreciate everything you do. Uh, but as a general rule, um, if it comes to uh, getting me out of an airplane before my pink hiney is burning, then by all means, bend metal, break glass, and cut belts. So let's take a look at how to get me out uh, for a normal evening. So if you get to the airplane and it's upright like this, and you just want to open the canopy normally, there's one latch. Just turn this latch clockwise and pull the canopy back. like that. And like I said, this, this glass is pretty thin, so if that's not working, feel free to break the glass to get a guy out. Um, I'll hop up on my wing and then uh, show you guys from the other side all the stuff inside. If you were to, to get me out of the airplane, I'll be in the front seat and we've got a standard five-point hooker harness, racing harness, uh, as well as a secondary safety belt. So normal egress would be get the safety belt undone and then pull on one lever for the five point hooker harness and then we're out of there um, so that's getting out again cut belts if you need to uh, everything else in here essentially if the switches go down and the levers go back that's a safe mode so all these switches can go down including the master battery and then if all these levers come back uh, we're cutting off the fuel uh, and then eventually if you want you can get down to this fuel selector valve to the off or back position and then we're totally shut down so uh, i think that's about it for getting me out of the rv8 we appreciate your time